As the Senate Committee on Electoral Reforms and People's Participation begins its inquiry on the alleged bribery for People's Initiative, a group that spearheaded a signature campaign admits asking the House leadership and several congressmen for help in securing the number of signatures needed to advance the movement. People's Initiative for Reform, Modernization and Action, or PIRMA lead convener Noel Oñata confirms meeting with House Speaker Martin Romualdez and other congressmen to discuss the People's Initiative. This comes after the committee's chairperson, Senator Aimee Marcus, revealed a screenshot of a message showing a photo of Añate with Romaldes and other House members during their meeting on January 8 at Romaldes' house. Uh. You said you never met the speaker, nor Mr. Saldico, our congressman. You're under oath, sir. Yeah, yes, that was the time that I... Uh... Sasabi mo lang na hindi naman kayo nagkita eh. Sabi niyo si na Congressman Garbin lang. Yeah, because you know it slipped my mind. It slipped my mind, Madam Senator. That was the time. Okay lang, okay lang. Kung nakalimutan niyo bigla, it's very clear that Speaker Martin Romualdez is supporting your group. Po, he is all out behind the People's Initiative. Is that correct? Yes, we, we coordinate with the speaker and the Thank congressman you very much, and in getting the 3% per to... congressional district. That's correct. The group also denies involvement in vote buying and bribery for the initiative. Several witnesses from various localities testified before the committee the alleged promise of government aid in exchange of signing the forms and the payouts to those who aided the signing at the grassroots level. Utos daw po yun ng NDBM. Utos po yung exact word. Ay, ganon. At uh, sumusunod lang sila. Opo. Eh kung utos ng Pangulo, ba't hindi ninyo sinunod? Meron po akong freedom of choice. <laughs> Bali po ang binigay sa amin, one, one pay po a day, tapos in advance po yung dalaw, isang araw, bali 3,000 po yung natanggap namin. Binigyan ba kayo ng ID nito, Change Philippines? Binigyan po. Sabi yung baguhin daw yung economic the Senate panel will subpoena a certain attorney, Anthony Abad, whose name appeared on the signature forms that were distributed to villages. The next hearing will be conducted in Davao, where more witnesses are expected to testify. Jorge Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.